part of the scariest part about being a director is you're very public in how you're discovering uh, your art and what you want to express. These people aren't just rich, they're crazy rich. Now you really should have told me that you're like the Prince William of Asia. That's ridiculous. Much more of a Harry. <laughs> people wanted to change the title of the movie. Um, from, but but the book is called Crazy Rich Asians. It's a, a, a provocative uh, title. I think it uh, it c creates conversation, which I think is good. Uh, but that's not the most obvious. I think the most obvious one was uh, that you're not going to find an Asian cast uh, that can step up to the plate for this. I thought that was ridiculous. Uh, and uh, I just knew that we had to look harder because there weren't systems built for people to find roles like these. They just because they're in roles who don't that they don't they don't exist in that level. So why would they, why would an agent know who these people are? So we just had to go one layer deeper and then we found all these talented people and they're ready, they've done the work. Uh, you look at Ronnie Chang from The Daily Show, Jimmy O. Yang from Silicon Valley, Aquafina. these people have been around, they've done the work and so to put them on the screen and, and see these total pros, mature total pros and on, on talk shows all across America, uh, it just shows that they just needed the opportunity to do it. It wasn't that it was lacking some sort of talent. I love China. The biggest bank in the world is from China. You know where their United States headquarters is located? In this building, in Trump Tower. Yeah, I don't remember what was happening at the time because I don't think uh, Trump was running for president at the time. It was a totally different Trump. I think we just picked and chose the, the right description for it and, it and then all of a sudden he's like running for president and all of a sudden he becomes the president. So uh, I think that is all coincidence and weird things. Um, there was a moment where we were like, should we even put this Trump joke in there? Uh, or how far do you go with it? Uh, but. You know, it is, it, it, it plays because it, it, it looks like his apartment. He's kind of like a billionaire playboy, you know, it doesn't do much with his life other than uh, try to grab women and like, you know, just have fun and party. Well, Jimmy, yeah, he went hard at it, um, uh, but we had to cut out a lot because uh, in a movie like this, where we're, 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 this is a very uh, female driven, strong, um, they're all finding their own place. Uh, we had to be careful with these other characters that they didn't we, didn't, we weren't trying to spread some other idea at the same time. And so his stuff got a little over the top, a little crazy. When we showed it at test audiences, you could feel it felt awkward sometimes. So uh, we kept him very sharp instead of um, going into, like originally he walks down and, and he's got all these beauty queens finalists from all around the world and they do a dance number and uh, he has, uh, there's a lot of stuff that goes on, um, but we just kept it simple more. These people are so posh and snobby, they're snotty.